Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to take apart the iPad 2 3G version. The first step, we're going to have to remove the digitizer. Take note that at the bottom left hand side, there is a ribbon cable attached. So be careful when you're removing the digitizer from the assembly. There is a little lip of plastic which surrounds the digitizer. This is attached to the back housing. I'm simply going to use this utility knife and press it in between the glass digitizer and the plastic lip. I'm just going to work my way around with the knife every so often placing in a plastic pry tool to make sure it does not close back down. If you cannot get your hands on a plastic pry tool, I find that a credit card or a guitar pick works well too. Also, be careful not to apply too much pressure to one spot where you can crack the glass. If you find the glue is very strong, I recommend using a heat gun or a hair dryer which will soften the glue and make it easier to take apart. Throughout this tutorial I'll be cutting down any unnecessary viewing times to make the video more efficient for you guys. Now I'm going to remove the four screws that are holding the screen in place. I'm now going to use this plastic pry tool to lift the screen out of place. Be careful when doing this because these screens can be delicate. I'm just going to flip the screen out onto the digitizer as it is still attached to the main logic board. To disconnect the screen, there is just a little metal latch that you have to lift up and the cable should just slide right out. Now to disconnect the ribbon cable attached to the digitizer. This ribbon cable is glued down to the main logic board, so this makes it a bit more tricky. Be careful when peeling this off, as these can be easy to break. You should just have to lift up the two plastic tabs holding it in place, and it should slide right out. Next to disconnect the cable which attaches the main logic board to the side controls and the camera. This cable is similar to the one which attaches to the screen. This is just a little metal tab that you have to lift up and the cable should just slide right out. Now to remove the cable connecting it to the sim reader and the headphone jack. There are three screws around the sim reader that you have to remove. Also, make sure you take out the sim tray. Next go ahead and remove the two screws holding in the headphone jack. Next remove the dock cable and the cable connecting to the speakers. The dock cable should just clip off while I'm going to have to use this plastic pry tool to flip out the speaker cable. The final step to remove the logic board. There are six screws which hold it in place. Go ahead and remove the six of these. Once you've removed the six screws, go ahead and use a plastic pry tool to gently lift up the logic board. Be careful, there are still three antenna cables connected, two at the top and one at the bottom. Flip up the board and go ahead and use your nail to just clip off these antennas.
If you want, you can go ahead and remove the covers, which will make the board's contents and components visible. If you open the middle cover, you can see the A5 processor chip. Also, be careful not to touch any of these components, as it could cause some static damage. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Find this helpful? Visit my channel for related videos, comment, rate, subscribe, or visit the iPhonefella.com for all your jailbreaking, unlocking, and iOS needs.